put it well. At least we're able to cook when we can eat on our own. Sincerely speaking, Dad. How long is this going to continue? We can come back after a whole day out there and still go into the kitchen to cook. Yes, Dad. Since Mom is very busy and has no time for us, get a house help so that she can take care of things here. Hmm. Your mommy says she has gotten a new house help for us. Yes. She says she's going to introduce her to us when she comes back to work today. Oh. Hmm. That's cool. Get over your cooking now. <laughs> you know, a lot of people at the office are scared. They believe that with the change in management, that uh, there will be some sort of retrenchment. Mm. Of course, you know me. <laughs> My experiences and experience will always speak for me. I'm sure I won't be one of them, those in the pack. You don't like the food? There's nothing wrong with the food. You're not here. What's, what's, what's happening? No. No, I'm... I'm sorry. I... I just got preoccupied with something. I'm sorry. Okay. So what's up in your mind? Out with it. I, um... I was at a hospital today. You were at a hospital? Why? You never fall sick, so, 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 so why? Why yeah, am I a superwoman? Yeah, no, but you hardly talk about going to the hospital or falling sick, you know. Okay, that aside, so, okay, what's up? What did you go to the hospital for? Test result. I'm pregnant. Dad, that what the doctor said. You and I know that we're not ready for this. She's from Cross River, Calabar to be precise. She's our new house help and she's going to be doing all the choice in the house. Everything and she's very good at it. Imabong, here is my family. How are you Imabong? I'm fine sir. Uh, Imabong, you're welcome. Okay, Imabon, let me show you around the house. Okay. This way, please. Thank you, sir. It's all right. For God's sake, Cindy, how could you tell yourself to be pregnant? How? Baby, I promise you, I didn't intentionally get pregnant. It was a mistake. Of course it was! Of course it was a mistake! This would have happened if you had taken your drugs really just I swear, baby, I swear I was taking it! I don't know how this happened, I honestly do not know! Maybe it was the time that I was sick, that I took drugs and then maybe it made the pills ineffective, I, I don't know, babe! I... Your brain, your 
empty head did not tell you that you needed to take something to substitute. You didn't even think about it. I have to think about everything for you. Hmm? When I say that this crazy people wear, sometimes it interrupts your thinking faculty to look like I'm just talking rubbish. You don't have sense! You're brainless! Look at you. Something as simple as taking the pills religiously. You can't even do it! Maybe you're very soon to do you. I just got upset at the news of the baby and I guess I overreacted. Give me First give me a black eye. What did I do wrong? That I told you that I was pregnant? Then what did I do? Did I give you the news of our fun coming baby? Our first child and you were angry. What should I have done? Hid the truth from you. No, 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 no. That, that, that would have been worse. Actually. Well, that was what I thought. Babes, I am really sorry. All right, I, I wish you could come into my heart now to see how sorry I am. I, I am really sorry. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me, and this will never happen again. Trust me. I won't do this again. I'm even ashamed of myself. I don't even know how how to face people when they get to find out that. Please, please don't tell anyone. Right? Not, don't tell anyone, especially IJ, Nicholas's girlfriend. You know how she is. She talks too much and she likes to. And she doesn't mind her business. So please, please can, can you just keep this to yourself? And I promise it will never happen again. Trust me. Cross my heart, it will never happen again. Sorry. <laughs> 